everybody, this is Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So today I want to show you how to use um, 5 o'clock shadow. I'm working in Photoshop CS6 and um, the process is going to be the same in Elements. You're just going to have an extra layer mask, so be sure that you're working on the correct layer mask. It would be the black one. So um, I realized that it can be confusing um, to use five o'clock shadow which is why I want to do this tutorial and um, I've chosen an image and <clears throat> this is pretty bad this is one of my images so um, that's a little embarrassing but whatever um, so it's pretty bad you can see that the highlights are totally blown right here um, and there's a crazy color cast going on um, this like red sun tone. I have no idea what that is. Um, but we're going to fix it. So we're going to find 5 o'clock shadow. And there it is. We're going to play it. And you can see that nothing happens. This is the way it was designed. Um, this isn't going to work the same on every single image and so you'll have to work with it. Um, the first thing that you want to do is um, double click on this little square color. This is going to bring up the color picker. So you want to go ahead and pick a color inside the skin tone that um, is not too dark and it's not part of any of your blown highlights. So the color that looks good to me is um, probably going to be this color right in here. This is a pretty natural skin tone and um, my daughter has pretty fair skin um, and so I'm going to choose that and then I'm going to go over here and press OK. Alright, so next I'm going to choose the black layer mask and make sure that I'm painting with a white brush. I have the brush tool selected but right now it's a black brush because the foreground color is black right here. I want to switch it to white. So I'm going to um, click these arrows and it's just going to switch it to white. Okay, so with the white brush and the black layer mask selected, I'm going to um, go ahead and start painting on her face, but I want to make sure that my brush is at a, set at a pretty low opacity. So to start out, I'm just going to put it at about mm, 25. Okay. Now I just want to, it's going to look real funny at first, but I just want to go ahead and paint all over her face. Getting in the highlights, um, and you're going to probably want to be a lot more careful than me. Uh, I just really want to show you guys how to use this. Okay, I'm going to paint all over here. You can see that that's not great as it goes over her nose, but we're about to fix that. I'm just going to go a little extra on this part. Okay. So you can see that even things out a little bit. And I'm actually going to take the opacity down a little bit more and just get in here a little bit extra. And right here make sure that that's pretty even. Okay, so um, you can see that this part looks really funny um, and a couple other parts over the nose don't look great. This is what we started with. This is what we have now. So I want to go ahead and change the blending mode. Um, you may not always have to do this. It may be okay on normal, but in this case I'm going to choose the blending mode as soft light. And um, you can see that that has evened out some of those shadows in the face. Okay, so um, you can see that this right here, these blown highlights, is also a problem. And so I'm going to um, go ahead and flatten the image. You want to make sure that you're running 5 o'clock shadow on a flattened background layer. If you try to run it on top of another action, you're going to have trouble. So make sure that you're running it on a flattened background layer. Let's flatten. Okay, and I'm going to run 5 o'clock shadow again. 
Okay, this time I'm going to pick a color um, that I can paint over the highlighted area to make it a little bit more even. So let's choose, that looks pretty good to me. It's a little bit darker than what we chose before. Press OK. Choose the black layer mask and I have the brush tool and white selected. And I'm going to go up about 20% and I'm just carefully going to paint over this problem area. I'm actually going to paint it in this little shadow too. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on normal because it's fine. So you can see um, where we started right there and then where we painted over, it blended, um, it blended the highlights and the shadows just a little bit better. And um, there you have it. That's how you use 5 o'clock shadow. Um, now I'm going to tell you guys um, a little bit more about how to use the color cast remover. So I'm going to flatten my image because that is one that needs to be run on a flattened uh, background layer as well. So um, that is part of the spring brushes in CS6. So I'm going to find it and choose it and I'm going to press play. As you see, once again, nothing happens and that's because you're going to have to reveal the effect. So um, the problem that I'm having with this image is the red in her nose right here, the red in her mouth, and she's got a little reddish orange going on um, in the shadows um, in her eyelids. So, and then also a little bit of red going on here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. PC users can um, use control and the plus sign as a shortcut and those shortcuts really do make a big difference. Um, okay, so the red is my problem. So I'm going to choose the black layer mask that is next to remove red. And with my brush tool selected and the white uh, foreground color selected, I'm going to start brushing off the red. Now my brush is still set at 20% and that sounds pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna get in here make my brush kind of small and I'm going to hit that red. Still going on so I'm going to do it a little bit more. Just a little bit in here too I'm going to take out. Okay. Now I'm going to go in here, paint some of that down. Now I've clicked this brush um, twice and so that's going to be 40% and um, I really probably could go a little bit more but I think it's better to start less and go up a little bit more. I'm going to lower it a little bit to do the shadows here because that's not as big of a issue. Okay. Um, also maybe I'm going to take down this crazy sun shadow. I don't even know what to call it. There's a little bit more right here. Okay, and then you can see the skin tone right here is a little uneven, so we'll do that. And I think there's a little bit of yellow in here that I'm not crazy about, probably just a reflection. Um, and so I want to click remove yellow and my brush is set at 14 and that sounds pretty good and I'm just going to brush over this area alright that 
looks pretty good to me. So you can see removing the yellow, um, took a little bit of that color cast out, removing the red. If you watch the nose, it's most prominent there. Um, makes a big difference. You can see the effect off and on. Um, and then we can check out what both effects do. This is before. Just look closely. It's a subtle difference, but it does make a difference. Um, you can see that this is improved. All of this is improved, and those shadows above the eyes are also improved. So that's before, and that's after. So there you have it. Those are two easy actions to use to correct some of your problems. Um, and uh, there's others. So please check out all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Thanks.